Welcome to my channel and today we will play with react.js we will try to take this component which is shown in this w3c schools page which is an accordion and we will try to make it a react.js component if you see there is some styles to it then there is a basic markup and there is some javascript which is basically adding certain classes and increasing the max height of the container i mean the panel to display the content right so we are also going to do the same thing however we will do it in react now to get started the first thing that i will do is create a new react app and inside that i will create a folder called react playground so to create a new react app we run the command npx create react app and then we name our project which will become the folder as well so we name it react playground and it will install all the dependencies that we need for our react application all right if everything is well you should in the end see that now everything is installed and our folder is ready so let's go inside react playground okay it is saying i need to use yarn i think it detected that i have yarn installed as well however you can use npm as well i mean there is practically a very less difference and there is absolutely no difference in terms of development so yeah you can use any of it i will use npm start npm run start rather okay so first of all we will open up the folder in visual studio code okay that's a little weird i think it's vc yeah i changed the shortcut because it was having a clash with my code folder all right so this is the basic structure i think you know, those of you who have already played with uh, react app they would already know but otherwise you know those who have not used it this is the boilerplate which we get okay i'll have two instances and in here i will do npm start okay this should open up the application on localhost port 3000 all right so this is our app and let us clear everything and start with only the files which we require to quickly look at it we have index.js which has a little bit of styling through this index.css let's see what is it it's primarily a little bit of fonts and everything we don't need it we will delete that okay let's get rid of that i don't need that uh, the test file right now we will remove that as well i don't need this svg file and then inside index.js i'll remove this css file and we only have the app dot app you know being called out okay one thing which i will definitely like to do is add a prettier rc and define certain rules for example single quote should be false i tend to use double quotes sorry use tabs tab width is two and semicolon is true as well so these are the few rules which i will have in my prettier rc because i have prettier installed so these rules will be um, followed okay so this is done and now inside app.js i'll just clean up everything right from here till here okay and why don't we have a p tag in here that says and refresh Oops. It's complaining about the SVG. I think it's still imported. Yes, let's remove that. We don't have the app.css as well. Or oh, we still do, but we will remove that. Just a quick setup and then we will get started. So we have bare bones in our Create React app. Let's quickly do get bootstrap. This is bootstrap 4. There is a CDN version, so I'll just copy this and what you can do is in your public 
folder, there'll be index.html. I'll just add it here. And because I'm changing the index.html, let's just reload the application. Okay. With this, I think we should have a bootstrap in place, right? So the basic thing which we need to do is inside index.js or rather no inside here we will have container okay so this should ta -ta -ta, this is right right so i did a bit of delay i didn't expect that to happen anyway so so yeah our container is container is here and we will now look at creating our accordion so how do we structure a code i will create a component folder Okay, components folder and then inside that let's just say we have accordion and in that we will have our index.js okay we'll also have let's say a style dot css okay it's i think it's practically css so yeah i don't need to do any scss scss sorry so i'll just steal this piece of the code and put it here so my style dot CSS is added. Sorry, CSS is added. I have a shortcut which creates a React component, so I'll name it Accordion. I have this is my accordion. Okay. With this, I will replace. Okay. So if I save it now, I should see my accordion component displaying its um markup okay so far so good i think next piece is we need to take the markup from here and start displaying this piece inside our component so let's just again copy this piece put it here initially we will just start with the bare bones and then we'll slowly start refactoring things now one quick tip if you see inside the jsx you may have a situation where your divs or your emit is basically not working right it, it shows data div if that is the case right what you can do is quickly search for emit in your visual studio code and go into the settings.json and in here you can have emit dot include languages right and in this we define javascript javascript react Okay, it is complaining because of the missing comma. So if I save it now and if I do div and use try to use emit, right, this will start working. And yeah, I think initially I was not getting it, and hence you know, I thought you know it would be worth sharing this thing with you. If you are facing that problem, you can tweak it. Alright, so back to our code. I think what we wanted to do was copy this and paste it in here. Now, obviously, the first thing that you would ideally like to change is all these classes will need to change to class name because React doesn't support class. It has to be class name. So we will do that. And my prettier is complaining because we don't have a wrapper div. So what I will do is maybe do React fragment. React Fragment is a component available with the React library, which allows you to have, you know, these, a component having multiple sections or multiple markups without actually having a container div. Okay. So this is, I could have done a dot, I mean, I could have created a div tag, but then it would mean there is a div tag floating there just for no reason. Instead, you can use React Fragment. Okay. If you want to see the markup, Let's just do a quick inspect element. I have root, I have container, and then as you can see, we have button accordion, button accordion, and button accordion. Ideally, if I remove it, it will complain. You would have seen because React says you need to have a parent container. Okay, every component, right? It should have a parent container so that it can render itself right one parent element so we will have the react fragment do that piece for us okay anyways so let's move along and see what else we can do so the first thing is obviously we would like to have this you know entire thing dynamically 
coming into our application right or into our component so why don't we do that thing first so let's assume uh, we can close app uh, index let's assume that we will pass the data required for the accordion from our app.js this can come from any place but for now let's just say we have a constant which is data it's an array we'll need an array so that we can you know, run functions like maps and everything okay so in that array we have one object it has an id let's say its name content for now let's just keep it null okay i'll you know we will we will target the content later and the last piece is state okay i want to keep a track of how you know, active and everything is maintained so i'll use this state okay and create one more let's just copy this okay so i have this three data points which what i will do is pass it as data to this accordion component as a prop so okay now inside this component what i can then do is say constructor props and we need to play around with the you know the accordion state for active and stuff so why don't we do this dot state equals accordions this dot props dot data so this will just allow me to you know do re-renders based on the state change if i if i uh, don't do that if i had the data over here or maybe through props first of all props will not allow me to st uh, set the state which you know i'm maintaining here so that's the reason i want it to be here okay so i have the data in my state and let's just say now i will run a loop so that i can render all the components okay so i will destructure the data over here so const accordions equals all right we should get it as this dot state okay and now we'll run the map function accordion and in here we'll have return let's just take this piece set it here okay it uh, again we will need a fragment because you know it's a repeating element i have this and let's just remove this okay i think now if this is the case we can okay i can't have the entire component um rendered as conditional thing so okay let's keep the fragment for now and let's see what is coming up okay there's some issue yes we need to pass the key i'll do that but you can see that we are rendering three um you know accordions here whatever is the theming that doesn't matter why don't we quickly import the styling as well so that it looks a little better styles.css and it is rendering with you know, the basic theming so that's fine and in here we need to pass the key okay and what i will do here is do key equals so i had accordion only i need the accordion plus the index so that i can add that as a key over here what is it complaining i think there's one extra bracket that is creating the problem okay so in case if you don't know why the key is required the fact the thing is you know when react renders different components right for example if if we open up the developer console right you will see that this is the component and it is internally actually repeating these elements okay and whenever there is a change in state react will re-render the components now 
there are conditions where you know, react will render only the components which have changed instead of you know, drawing the entire dom again for you that's where the performance comes right so what it does is it keeps a track of data the the virtual dom and you now what is changing so whenever there is a change in one particular piece of the data it looks at the virtual dom and understands using these keys you know which particular element needs to change and you know it it will basically identify that and re-render that particular component and that's why it is very important that we have this and also it is very important that you know it is unique i mean you cannot have same key to multiple components inside that same loop otherwise the uh, react will not understand it all right so we have this now i we have got rid of that error message which was coming up uh, which we saw earlier now let's start you know putting things together in terms of you know the data coming from the props which is now inside our state obviously we'll have I think it was name right and with that i think already we will see different names to our accordion right and then we need an on click so that we can handle the behavior whenever a, a particular button is clicked right so why don't we have a function here called handle click we will pass the accordion which will be clicked okay so this is my function I'll have this is a function which is going to be this. Now, whenever the button is clicked, we'll have on click. This dot handle click, and we will pass the accordion. Okay, so basically we are looping through all the accordions using the map function. So whenever the click is happening we pass the current accordion to this particular function to to ensure that we are getting it why don't we log current accordion okay here we have a refresh and we can see about us was clicked contact us was clicked service was clicked fair enough so the basic stuff is done now let's look at how we can expand the accordion so if we look at the code what happens when you know an accordion is clicked so there you know, it is doing a loop in the in javascript it is getting all the elements with class name accordion it is doing a for loop okay it is assigning add event listener click and on toggle it is assigning this class so why don't we first do that so we'll come over here let's refer the code and we'll come over here and the first thing that we would ideally like to do is whenever we get the accordions okay we i mean the current accordion first we'll need to loop through all the accordions we'll make all the accordion state as inactive and the one which is clicked will become active so let's get the new let's create a constant called new accordion that's going to be this state accordions okay and then we run the map function and inside it we will have a condition or initially we will have only one line let's just say accordion dot state is equal to if current accordion dot id equals accordion dot id then active else an actor so this is what we want to do okay and with that i think what we can also look at doing is add a class so we have accordion in here if we look at the code class toggle active so accordion has a class toggle of active so why don't we do that as well to keep things simple i have 
you know, two classes one is active and inactive so accordion dot state okay it's refreshing and let's see is everything active yes there's there's a problem i think we made a mistake so let's just look at it okay first thing is obviously all them all of them are active in here so we'll keep one as active and then what we need to do is once this condition is done right once this loop is over we need to set the state so we do accordions equals new accordions so this will trigger a re-render and now you can see i have the toggling of accordions so my you know the plus sign changes to minus and also one important thing which we have been able to achieve is unlike this where all the accordions are open we have managed to only keep one accordion open because i would like that as a user i should keep only one accordion open okay so that's why we did that if you don't want to do that maybe you know you can uh, get rid of this because if you don't set inactive then the accordion will be active okay that's that's how things work okay so that piece is done we have pretty much you know handled till here now the next part is panel equals this dot next sibling now obviously we will not do this we are not going to reference the dom elements like this rather i will have a class okay i wanted to do this in a, a little different manner so i'll have panel and let's just say i'll make it a template literal so template string and in here we'll have dollar accordion dot id okay so all my panels can be accessed through an id and what i can do is you know uh, if, if you want to make it uh, unique as well maybe you can pass one more prop which is the name of the accordion so that in in one page if you have multiple accordions then you can have a scenario where you have panel one panel two and then you will you can have a conflict so you can even append a name to that accordion and that way you can guarantee a unique class okay i could have done a, an id but we will stick with the class for now in here when a click is done right what we need to do is have constant panel equals document dot query selector let us just say the query selector will be dollar um so i have panel or accord current accordion sorry dot id so i hope you you got why i am doing it basically um when the accordion is clicked that particular accordion will be available so i will get panel dash one two or whatever is the id right and once i get that i think what they are doing is panel dot style dot max width equals this so i can just copy this with this let's see if we are at least able to open things hmm. okay, it says style of null i think it is not able to get that uh, element so why don't we console it panel and let's just see what is the problem okay it's null okay all of them are null that's that's really weird i i have a class okay i think the dot is missing and that's why i had that problem yes two okay and now if i change it okay so we are in business however we are we are obviously not closing it we only have the code to add that style right so how do we now have a close as well as you know open off the one we just clicked so again we have a map already right so right what can we do we can over here have this code and now this was one line code but now i need to make it 
a multiple line code because I'll have a if condition. So if this is true, then my accordion dot state becomes active. That's my first thing. Else, this is oops inactive. So I get rid of this. Okay, and then I need to do something about this. So my panel will be constant. I'll have that. And if my panel is active, it gets the height. Otherwise, if you look at the code, right, it sets that to null. So I can get that and just stick it here. Okay, fair enough. So now I think we should have. Okay, this doesn't work. That's strange. Why this is not working? Because panel is fine. State is active, I think. That's not a problem. Only the last one was open. Let me refresh. Okay, some mistake. Let's quickly check what is happening. So I have this if condition, which is fine. I think I should still get the unique document element that shouldn't have changed let me clear up okay okay here's the problem so all of them are getting called which is okay that is going to happen but why three i clicked once and it consoled three because it was map it ran the map however it got Oh, okay. So my bad. It shouldn't be current accordion. Um, right. So while looping, it was getting all the accordions value as one. And that's why it was, uh, I mean, it was getting three. That's why it was creating that problem. So, okay. So now we have the basic thing in place. Accordion is kind of behaving properly. However, the first one is not open by default. So let's take care of that as well. So component did mount is one hook which is available to us. Basically this will run when the react component is about to mount. Okay, so that, that's how the name comes, component did mount. Okay, now in this, what I can do is, I know that my first panel needs to be open. So I can do this, right? and right so if i refresh my first accordion is open and then i can you know, get this thing so this works perfectly however you know i don't think we should be happy with what we have because we have a little bit of repeating code in here and i see a way to refactor it a little bit uh, to reduce the code and simplify things so let's just say what are we trying to do we have always created an a panel using the document selector and then you know, here we are doing a max width max width uh, sorry max height and if we are closing it is null so we can have a function called set panel height okay we can generate the panel uh, document i mean dom element inside our function so we just need the selector and let's just say we want to know whether it is closing or not okay so let's copy this piece of code first if we are able to get this into working then we will look at the rest of the things so selector and i will do dollar selector okay and that means i can actually do this dot set panel height okay i pass the selector and close is false okay and hit refresh we still have the basic behavior and about us the first panel is open by default now why don't we come over here and do a template string um sorry 
template string will be panel. Okay, I think I did something wrong. It's like this, and then the brackets. Oh, okay. Uh, never mind. Panel dash, and then I have what accordion dot id. Okay, and this time I am not setting the height to null. So again, I think okay, this is not working. Stop, stop, stop cannot read property style why it can't read the property that must be because it couldn't find the element because I don't have a dot all right now it is working properly the only thing now we need to handle is this closing right so if you look at this piece of code it is setting a height however what I can do is I can say that my panel dot style dot max height is equal to if close is true okay then the height is null else the panel scroll height okay and with this I think we can copy this and this will be true and Let's just refresh and check. Yeah, our code is working properly. Right. So we have the basic code in place. And now the last thing which I would like you to look at is right now the component is kind of static, right? We, we are not passing anything to this component. So how do we do that? We have the ability to make this dynamic, obviously. But how can this be dynamic because accordion will have different you know, data so let's create a folder called content and in that let's just say we have um about us slash index.js services slash index.js and one last one contact us slash index dot js and have my default okay the, the, i will make this as a stateless component okay a static one so contact us export default and just copy this just to make things a little more interesting maybe so we have these things now what I want to do is actually in this place of component I want to send the component itself right so what I can do here is this is about us right so about us okay similarly okay, services and last one contact us now with this hmm, strange only this one got formatted like this never mind so over here I'll come and first of all remove this and how do we render the component over here so we can do something like accordion dot content because if you remember in here we are passing this as a function okay so this is like a function which we uh, where we have a, a component so when we call that function it will render this component okay so yeah i think about us is not defined that's interesting i think those components were not imported i was expecting Visual Studio Code to do that. That's strange. Um, is it changing? Oh, I know. So, although these components are not using React, but you know, because these are React components, I need to have this. Okay, I'll copy this. 
here and last one is here and okay now it's complaining about only the two components so which means we are in business okay it's still not importing that's a little weird i don't know <laughs> the last one yep index.js doesn't match contact did i make a spelling mistake i think so contact us contact C O N T S C T contact us that's a little weird what happened contact us everything seems to be fine i think i'm making a mistake somewhere yes so services is s small c small u small now okay this is where about us will come this is services this is contact us all right so now our accordion is completely dynamic in nature and this is one object which if i send to this accordion it will you know, render itself and we have the flexibility of having anything inside this because this itself the com contact us can actually be an independent component you now we don't need to um, you know, limit ourselves in terms of markup or anything this can be any kind of component and it can have all its behavior whatever you want to the contactors can be in complete form which submits uh, you know which makes an ajax call and submits to the database doesn't matter you just need to send that component over here right so yeah that's how we have you know this small little accordion from this you know beautiful w3c example right this accordion we converted into a react component and yeah i think um we will also try to create a tab in our next video and then we will see how we can use hocs to have some generic behavior attached to these two components so yeah that's it for now thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel